that's with that all right so we got auto tracking camera and so folks in this video uninstalling the thermal right assassin king 120 that's what's on here and then we'll install the noctua nhl9 65 sc am4 l type low profile cooler All while I have a beer or two. Actually, this will go fast. So, get the fan off. Pop these hooks off. And now, one reason I'm shooting this with three cameras is the mere fact that you might not be able to see something in every shot. Then we're going to disconnect the four pin back here, okay? So, and I'll usually put these back either in the box or a little baggie. Um, then grabbing a number two Phillips head, loosen a couple threads, both sides. Not a good idea to completely unloosen one and then go into do the other because it's going to, it'll pop off. Um, now this motherboard, interesting enough, the base plate seems to be fixed on it which is different than what I'm used to, except for maybe an OEM computer. All right, so there is the spread that we had on our thermal paste. Um, and the CPU was actually pretty good. Um, the M5 CPU is covered pretty good so we could do a much better job of cleaning this but budget reasons folks we are just using spare the balls all right now we've got to unloosen four screws and take off two brackets Now, if you bought this motherboard, you are in luck, folks. I'm probably going to install, uninstall a shit ton of my CPU cores. Because, you know what? These things uh, are one of the only type videos that really do good for me. <laughs> Gaming videos don't seem to do so hot on this channel. I, don't, I guess people don't think I'm very good at them. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, how many number one finishes can you have, you know? Especially in Fortnite. Could be considered good. Alright, so we're taking the brackets off. These will, uh, if I get the screws out, these will go in the baggie with the cooler. Just keep them separate. Or straight in the box. So that's done. Okay. Now the CPU is already in, folks. Uh, however, to shortchange you guys on a video if I was going to take out the CPU I would pop this down pull it back open this up and hopefully I would have um, some kind of anti-static gloves device on me whatever before I touch this um, in the winter time a really bad idea to touch this thing all right so CPU's out folks there you go. Now, uh, if we had the plastic cover on here, or we had the plastic cover, it's around here somewhere, we would pop that back on and protect the motherboard, right? Because eventually we maybe we put in a new CPU, whatever we do. Um, in this case, we're keeping the same CPU, so I could have left it in there. But um, to put the CPU in, pop that back, and then open this up. Now, there's a uh, triangle. You guys may not see this in all the views right there. That's going to line up with the triangle on, oops, there's one on the motherboard and on the bracket. So basically right there. And this is pretty much a shitty design compared to Intel's. Um, they tried to rip it off, but they should, too bad they didn't improve Intel's design, which isn't that good. 
All right, so we want to gently put that in and looks like we have a little excess thermal paste because now I have it all over my hands, folks. Um, all right. So what I want to do is basically run my finger around the perimeter and just make sure it feels uh, basically the same, right? It's level with the gray frame. And if I had the black thing, as I'm bringing this down, it would pop off. Uh, but in this case, we don't have it, so we'll just lock that back up. All right. Now, um, as I said, I'm going to flip this over. This guy is not coming off for some reason. So um, if yours does, um, make sure you go in and you install that. All right, so you need the backing plate in. Now, here's our brackets that we're going to use. Um, you will need probably a, a number one Phillips. You take these off, or you can you know, do it by hand. Or they'll be sitting in the bag in your box. And so some of the camera angles, folks, you'll see stuff better than others. All right. I'm not even, that's the unfortunate thing. When I edit, if these happen to be popular enough, these videos, maybe I'll edit one together that's got all the perfect angles. This is honestly the first time I've used multiple cameras besides on a, um, oh, God, what's that called? A uh, laptop, duh, or desktop with webcams. All right, so spacer. And these are either rubber or plastic, probably plastic. They'll sit on top of the protrusion from the bracket underneath. Now, we want to take this and just drop one in for now. So get a few threads on that. Then you can do the other one, hopefully. And this is where it pays to have smaller fingers. All right. So this should be a number one. Speaking of number one, if I have too much beer, folks, I'm going to have to take a number one. You know, ever since the uh, issues with Bud Light, I've been freaking uh, Miclite, but uh, I think that's made by Anheuser-Busch, so if you're out there boycotting Bud Light, you should probably know what company's making the beer you're drinking, right? Now, not that we would ever boycott any products on this channel, but maybe we would just because we don't believe in politics and other crap interfering with our favorite products, favorite restaurants, favorite sports teams. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Now, on this channel, folks, hopefully you'll subscribe. We do uh, spend a lot of time helping people out. So if you have a question... If you ask it nicely and hopefully use, you know, proper English, I will most likely answer it if I can. If I ignore it, well, most likely yours truly either didn't like the way you worded it, thought the way you worded it was rude, or didn't have the answer, right? One of those two, or one of those three things. But yeah, I help people of all kinds, female, male, doesn't matter the race, doesn't matter whether you're uh, your gender, don't care, right? Not to help as many people as I can. All right, so now we need some thermal paste. Normally I would use my Noctua paste on this, but I'm not probably going to keep this on here long. We got a bunch of free products from Vitru. So I'm going to use their thermal paste. Um... Now, 
these CPUs, you know, running a little hotter. Um, so it's not going to kill you really to put a little extra thermal paste on there. Uh, at least spread it out. Sometimes you put that big blob in there. It doesn't, doesn't spread all the way out because you didn't put enough on. But at worst, you just have a bunch of crap to clean up, right? Because most of these, you will be able to clamp them down pretty good. All right, so before we put this on, we've got to take the fan off. Um, now, there is a uh, lower profile version of this that I have. This one, I think, is only for AMD, AM4, and AM5. So, All right. So we've got our thermal paste down. Let's make sure this is clean, right? And if you have the right cleaner to go with it, you would check that. And I think this used to be in the wife's computer, so it is dirtier than you know what. Um, all right, so we put that down. Hopefully we lined it up. We want to get a couple threads on each side before we start cranking down. So that side's good. And then let me, let me angle this to the good 4K 60 FPS. Actually, this, this cell will do 8K. So we're just going to, you know, do a few turns, a few threads each side, work our way back and forth, spreading the thermal paste across as good as we can. All right, so that's on there. Now the fan. Um, in this case, you know, it's set up a little different than when you have the towers. Intake side, exhaust. So basically we're sucking in cool air, pushing it across the fan and exhausting underneath somewhere. Um, that's the way this is designed. I'm not really a fan of this type of uh, CPU cooler, but it is what it is, right? So this can go on uh, one of two ways. There's four four ways you would think this could have went on, but unfortunately we can only do two or four. And so once we get that seated, pull the bracket down. And hopefully lock it in hopefully I got the other side in now our four pin folks um, and we'll resort to the, the 4k camera but it's going to plug in let me switch hands only one way all right so let's do that again over here for you guys only one way boom and it's in so that's going to complete this video folks um, of course, now, if you don't have a case and you want to fire this thing up to check the BIOS, this CPU does have integrated graphics, right? So you need a 24-pin power connector. Uh, that's going to come from power supply. A 2x4 from your CPU. You'll need your mouse and keyboard. You'll need HDMI or display port to your monitor. And then either you need a switch or you can use a flathead. Um, oh, and you need the RAM too. You don't need a drive. You definitely need the CPU. And that's all you need to fire it up, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.